All right, uh, hello all. Uh, I've had several requests on how I made my Arch Linux, or how I make my Arch Linux uh, customized spins, and uh, how do I use the uh, Pac-Man installer. So this may turn into a multi-part video because it's not really that hard. It's just a long, involved process and a lot of time downloading, and uh, it's trial and error, basically. So I've made some notes as usual and uh, just to get you started with a checklist is you need at least 10 gigabytes of free space, okay, hard drive space. It will only build, you can only build custom spins in Arch Linux 64 version. You can make 32-bit, but you have to have an Arch 64 to make them. Um, I would suggest clearing out the Pac-Man cache and uh, you can configure you have to configure everything as root or sudo is fine and if you have a, an updater like pamac or octopi um if possible disable it just to help with the bandwidth and then finally you download uh, arch iso and then you make your directories and a few changes and you have to go on from there and edit and files and so on so obviously uh this is XFCE4 desktop in Arch Linux, and I have 213.3 gigabytes of free space, so I should be fine. <laughs> um, solid state drive makes a difference as well. Okay, so, and this is uh, Linux, Arch Linux 64. So, I know people don't like to do this, but uh, just in case you can... Uh, Especially if you're going to run 32-bit, you have to do this. So I'll paste that in and answer yes. And again, answer why yes. Okay. I have a little uh, command line called ncdu. You can get it from the Arch Linux user, uh, pacman uh, pac uh, slash var. You can now see where the cache is. Pacman pkg it's empty all right okay so the next step is uh, I don't have any auto updaters so we'll just uh, download arch iso it's as simple as that so open the terminal sudo pacman dash capital s I should zoom in I'm sorry so you can see that arch iso and not very big as you can see and just let that download and install. Okay. Uh, as root or sudo, um, we, we edit the uh, mkarch iso file to include an i for interactive because uh, if you don't, it'll just go on installing stuff and you have no idea if it's working, basically. So you just uh, in the terminal here. Oops, I'm sorry. sudo. And then whatever editor you can use, gedit or nano or something. I usually use leafpad and a slash usr slash bin mkarch iso. Enter. And control F usually to find something in the text editor pack strap. And there's only two entries. You can see here. One, two. And right here where it has a dash C, put a dash small letter i and then space and do the same thing on the second dash i small letter i and a space save and close that okay and then uh, again sudo this is very important that it's all root based because uh, it, it'll fail to build if you don't uh, sudo mk dir you can run it in your home folder so you're going to make a directory you can call anything you want i usually call it live CD okay and it's just a matter of here is a sudo copy dash r usr share arch iso configs um, r e l e n g an asterisk and then home your username and then whatever you called your uh, folder in this case live CD so I'll just copy and paste that in and press enter let me just change directory to live CD. LS. We have uh, air root FS folders, uh, build sh file, packages.both, mk init, 
packages i686 uh, pacman config sys linux folder and so on so we'll um, ls air root fs this is an etsy so you can look at the etsy um, not too much you have to do here uh, but the uh, uh, the root we have to edit the customized air root sh okay but before going on to that uh, the most important file is your build sh well one of the most important so again as root or sudo leafpad your text editor build dot sh okay now you, right from the beginning and it says iso name you can call it anything you want you can leave it as arch and the label you can leave as arch um, and so on so if you want you can change it to anything you want arch custom or uh, say we're going to install cinnamon arch cinnamon or whatever you want uh, any kind of name you want arch uh, or my arch anything okay so arch uh, iso and my arch <laughs> whatever you want to call it you can make, maybe make them the same my arch okay then we're going to find uh, the word dual and I'm going to just uh, demonstrate how you can just make it 64 bit only so we take out dual and you type in x86 underscore 64 and then you can save changes as you're going along and I'll page up to the top and control F find uh, I six eight six. I'm going to make this a 64 bit only build. So what we do is we take out those instructions. So there's one, two, three, four instances. So you just press delete and then delete again. Then F3, for example, to find the next one and so on. Okay. And so it's set for 64 bit. Save and quit. Now, the next thing is to edit our packages.both. Or actually, you should edit leafpad. Uh, sorry, leafpad. Uh, pacman. Uh, config. And we want to include multi lib in here. Okay, so say under community, press enter a couple of times square brackets M U L T I L I B <laughs> multi lib and you take this line include copy control C and control V paste that in save and quit okay now we can edit our uh, packages dot both file this is what it comes as default and there's uh, some things I usually take out. You don't have to. You can leave it all as is. Okay. Uh, for example, I take out uh, Dart HTTPD. You can leave it in, as I said. Uh, CDRA, I don't use. Uh, in my country, it's useless. Um, Dialog, leave in. Uh, DOS FS tools, you probably want. E-Links. Mm, it's up to you. I usually take that out. Um, GNU, Netcat, um, Grub you want, of course. So you get the idea. If you're not sure, say like what's MC, just open a terminal and type in pack. Uh, I better do this as Pacman dash capital S I, I believe, MC. Okay. Tells you what it is. It's Midnight Commander. If you want to have that, you can, but I don't. Personally, I don't need to use that, so you can take out stuff like that, MC. Um, open SSH, open VPN. You can always uh, get those later if you need them. And if you're not going to use uh, Z, it's SH either. It's uh, somewhere here. Or Linux ATM for one, another one. And there it is, there, GL. So, 
the, that's the idea. You can add remove. So I'm just going to save and close. I want to go back to uh, the build sh file and look for zsh zsh. And you can see it's right here. There's only one instance of that, so I usually take that out. And if you don't want mem test, you can take that out as well. But there's more um, um, more scripts for that in mem test. So I'll just leave it as is. So I'll just uh, save and close. And let's uh, take a look at our air root FS uh, customize, whoops, uh, slash root customize arc. And the only thing right now, okay, you can change you change this as you go along is instead of the user mod USR bin ZSH, unless you want to use it, uh, just put bash. Okay. Everything else is fine as is for uh, this this uh, the purpose. Save and quit. Okay, uh let's see. Also, the MK in it dot config file. If you don't need uh, PXE, um, which I don't use, you can take that out. Those lines out, if you wish. It will build uh, just fine without it. So just be careful. Arch root mount. You don't want to take that out. So it's PXE. Or better yet, I think, is Control F, P, X, E, so you can see them. There we go. They should all be in uh, one uh, line after another. Okay, and there's a mem disk again, test disk, but I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to leave it as it is. PC, MIA, that's pretty ancient technology, but it depends on what you're going for. I'm just going to leave that in as well. Okay. Okay. So next up, what happens is we're gonna just try and run sudo dot slash build sh and dash v for vbros. So we'll go out and sync your mirrors and ask you to download uh, what you specified in your packages. And depending on what time of day and your connection, this could take a long time or be fast. So there you go. You can get an idea. And that's why you make it interactive in case uh, you notice something that you might not want or you might have forgotten. So you just press enter. And it's 185 megabytes and 500 megs installed. So I'll just pause the video for now and let this download. Okay, so it pauses once more and asks you do you want to install Havget, which is like a entropy uh, random generator so you can uh, update the mirrorless quicker for pac-man something like that intel u-code as i said mem test uh nf sf utils is fine ndb don't really need but that's fine it's, it's not very big so just press enter default answer is yes and then we just download more um utilities okay so we're getting near uh compilation um and it's going to ask for the pre-bootloader, which I believe is uh, UEFI, and then starts uh, getting this ready to make into an ISO. Uh, so this will take a little bit of time. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it looks like everything is going to work. Okay. And it's creating the file system. And if you look at, say, uh, your system monitor, um, I have six cores, and it does say that it's uh, using six processors. And if you notice, they're all at 100% or close to it in memory usage, of course. Okay, so there's not much else to say other than just wait for the ISO to build. So, again, I'll be back. Okay, so got lucky this time. Everything uh, worked. And you notice the size is uh, much smaller than the default because it's only 64-bit. It's not the dual. And it did take uh, what we said, my heart and the x86 underscore 64 dot ISO. All right, so uh, if you have VirtualBox installed, um, you should be able to just run this now as is. So let's make a new, and uh, you can go to guided mode or expert mode, doesn't matter. So 
uh, arch. Okay, 64 bit it picks up. And next, arch. I already have one called arch. So arch underscore live. Next, I'm going to give it 4 gigs of RAM. I'm going to leave the uh, 8 gigs as plenty for testing this out. And then settings, uh, system, untick, floppy. You can use as many cores as you have on your system. So in my case, 6, display, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> enable 3D acceleration. Storage, uh, click on the empty and choose and go to your wherever you made your live or whatever you call it CD to out and pick your arch ISO. Open and that should be good enough. Okay. And then just start fire it up. There's your Arch Linux uh, boot screen. Just press enter of course and it'll be pretty much very close to the Arch Linux default one. And uh, you can install from here or just uh, power off and, and uh, continue on uh, editing. And then uh, I'll continue in the next part, uh, adding more packages and have a graphical uh, interface and so on. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. And thank you so much for watching and bye for now.